YouTube, Topaz Jace back for another album review, and this one is to that Michael Ball and Ryan Lewis, this unruly mess that I've made, and this album really does fit that title to perfection, because there's no rules to these songs that they decided to throw towards this album, there's no out of bounds, like there's no genres that they could not have gone towards, they just went on ahead and did them, and just selected the best tracks, and there's no core theme to it, this is merely just a bunch of songs that they enjoy to make. And this is how you're able to get songs like Brad Pitt's Cousin where they're just wilding out type shit to that dance off where it's like kind of reminiscent of something that Missy Elliott would do just an out of control crazy like dance type track but then you can also have those tracks on top of songs like say White Privilege or that Downtown which I've already made videos to both of those songs. And which I'm really not that much of a Michael Moore fan but I got mad respect for him especially for the things that he definitely does rap about man. Like going from the beginning not like Tunnels and which what this was about was about the experiences that they had going to the Grammys and such. How people look at it as it's such a glamorous thing and all of that, man, but ultimately, as he experienced it, it's more of a business. They want Kanye West to rant on and shit. They want everything that's going to go ahead and get some more trending topics and everything to get more people watching. Why you got a whole bunch of famous people and such who really don't know each other or fuck with each other, so it's kind of awkward. Take that song, Buckshot, man. That joint was pretty solid. Solid man production by DJ Premier as obvious because of the hook and such where he's doing some scratching involved. It's got that grimy New York type feel to it as Michael Moore KRS one or rapping about tagging up and doing graffiti and all of that man. Like it was pretty interesting. One of the more touching songs off this album was that growing up, in which this is him pretty much talking about how he's become a father, but yet at heart, he's still growing up his damn self. Like, how could he raise somebody when he's not fully grown his damn self? But yet, he's going through putting his best foot forward. He got his heart in the right direction to tell his children based off of his experiences and the things that he wants in order to teach them what they should want and how to grow up. And then I like that song, Kevin, in which that's pretty much a story that he delivered about prescription pills and such that we got going on right now. Because these doctors, they only interested in getting fucking paid so therefore every issue that a child may have they will sell you a pill for that even if taking all of these pills that they gonna give you could end up killing the fucking child much like Kevin got killed in the damn store. The truth of the matter is that parents really aren't trying to be parents like that anymore man. Really what they trying to do is dope up their fucking kids enough that they can go ahead and live a fucking life. When the majority of these issues that kids are getting pills and shit for the previous generation was pretty much either beat because of it or forced outside to play and use up all of their energy and it all just kind of worked. And last Song I definitely wanted to talk about, man, was that Need to Know with Chance the Rapper on it, because that was one of my favorite songs off of this, man, which they're rapping about some real shit on here as well. Like, materialism and all of the things that come with the music industry is not really as self-fulfilling as everyone thinks it is. And that is really a true reality of life, you dig? You got to find something that you love to fucking do, and not really just chase after things that people say you should want, like, people think that you should want money, half money is going to bring all this happiness to you, doesn't really happen that way, man. You got to find your own happiness in your own life in order for any of this shit to actually have any effect on you. Like, it's nice to have all of that fancy shit, but in the end of the day, it really won't matter. Now, even though I enjoyed a bunch of these songs and such, man, and a lot of the concepts of them were pretty damn dope, this album wasn't no more than anything average. I mean, these tracks are entertaining, but there's nothing really phenomenal about them, you dig? And that's why I'm giving this album a 6.5 out of 10. But still one I would recommend people to go ahead and peek the fuck on out. But this concludes today's review, and now we're going to jump into a brief instrumental from Underground Producer, the highest power before we jump into the news and an article from DownloadPass.com. <laughs> So did you guys 
see that Kanye West announced that he's going to do a summer album, which it makes sense because he really didn't profit that much off of this album, seeing as though he fucked it up that damn badly. He already dropped a track, man, in which I wanted to review it, but the audio quality is so fucking terrible, I really couldn't do that shit. But ultimately, he definitely got more music to come. But anyway, on to today's article from downloadpads.com, and today's article is about becoming too comfortable. Because this is something that can ultimately cost you a music career, man. When you become too damn comfortable, instead of pushing yourself in order to do something bigger and better you did, you're going to end up being in the same circle of bullshit. Because here's some real shit that comedian Eddie Griffin once said, man. In order for him to become the name brand that he is now, he had to get away from his hometown because he was already too fucking comfortable. Like, he already had public access TV. He was already selling out comedy shows and such, man. He was making a decent living, but yet he was going to no way be as big as he is now just being comfortable there. He had to push himself. And that's the same thing a lot of people gotta do, man. A lot of rappers need to get your ass out of that motherfucking studio, start promoting yourself, man. Start going out there and building up your name, and then once you build up yourself but so much, then go ahead and take that trip to somewhere else. I hope you enjoyed the show. You can follow me at Twitter up there, and you can go to DownloadPads.com, that's down there, to read today's article.